Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Khan. In this video KB, I am going to show how an in-out parameter can be passed to an MCT using a task flow. Advanced task flow provides a way to pass in-out parameter to a DI task such as a mapping task and the details are available at the link shown in this slide. To demonstrate this approach, we set up a mapping as described in the mapping tutorial link and uh, this mapping uses a CSV file which is available at the documentation link doc15676. We can take a look at these documentation links as well. This link provides details on how parameters can be passed to a task flow and this is the functionality we are going to demonstrate in this video KB. This link shows how a mapping tutorial can be set up and this a mapping uses a source file which is available at this link. There is a text file attached to this KB which contains these links. Now we can take a look at the CSV file. This is our CSV file. As we can see that it contains a couple of records from the state of California, some of the records belong to the state of Texas and some of the records belong to the state of Maryland. Use case. The use case described in this video KB is the following. An input field is passed to a task flow. This input field is then passed to the filter step in the mapping. This step filters incoming CSV data based on this input field and the input field in this case is the name of a state such as Texas, California or Maryland. Now we can take a look at the task flow and the mapping. This is our mapping. As we can see that it has three steps. It has a source step, which is pointing to a file connection. And file connection is pointing to accounts.csv and this is our file connection, which we have set up on the machine, where secure agent is running. This is our filter step. And here, we have specified an input in out parameter. If we click here, this is the parameter that we have, we have specified my in in out param. And uh, as since input output parameter does not come under filter condition. So we, we have specified the input output parameter as dollar dollar my in out param. This is the way to specify in out parameter in a filter step. The next step is the target. It is again pointing to a file connection and the file connection is pointing to a target file results.csv. So let's take a look at the MCT. This is the MCT which is using the same mapping which we discussed earlier. This is the in-out parameter. And let's take a look at the task flow. This is our task flow. Under the start tab, we have specified an input field called a state. The next step, this is our data task step. It is pointing to the MCT and it has an input field and we have a specified input field here. The same in out parameter which we have specified in the, in the mapping. So let's see how this works. We can publish the task flow.
the task flow is published. This is our task flow link. We can copy it and open up Postman. This is our postman and this is the task flow link. Here we have provided authorization, header, which is application slash JSON and the body. And now we can send a request to the task flow with input field equal to the state of Texas. The request went through and returned a run ID. Now we can take a look at the target results.csv file. This is our file connection directory. And if we sc scroll down, we will find a results.csv. We can open it, we can copy it, paste it in a directory. and open it. This is our output CSV file. As we can see that it contains filtered data based on the, the input field Texas, which we provided in our task flow request. Let's trigger this task flow using another input field. we can specify another input field Maryland send a request the request went through return a run ID now we can take a look at the new results.csv file We navigate to the file connection directory. This is our results.csv. We copy it. And we can open it. Here is our results.csv which contains filtered data based on the input field of Maryland. We can take a look at the task flow. Under my jobs, this is our task flow. As we can see, it has executed successfully. That's pretty much it. Hope you find this KB helpful. We would like to hear from you. Uh, please send us your feedback at the email address shown on this slide. And you can also reach us on Twitter. Thank you.